Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker, Dana Hopper World Source. Today I'm coming to you from Shirts, Texas, right behind Randolph Air Force Base, a community called Rhine Valley. This is a Liberty Home community, and behind me is a spec home that was built by Liberty Homes, and my clients are getting ready to pull the trigger on it. So yeah, let's go check it out. This is a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage house, just about 2,000 square feet. Uh, we are on a curve in this neighborhood, so the front yard, you can see it's got an okay size front yard, but it's gonna come out to right about here. And you can see kind of the line there for the front yard. We got two oak trees in the front, checking out the roof. This does have kind of your builder's uh, standard three tab shingles. Uh, let me kind of show you a little bit closer what that looks like. You do get the sound of freedom flying above you every now and then because we are behind Randolph Air Force Base. See, they're kind of all flat together. Don't freak out about it. It's just a standard built uh, roof. Uh, the house next to you is going to have uh, the three-dimensional shingles. That's definitely an upgraded roof compared to what this is. Just want to let you know about that. But they've already got the landscaping done really nice. And uh, beautiful brick rock on the front part. And shortly after you get to the front part, it goes into more of a hardy plank type roof. This house does have... All right. Yeah, let's head on inside. All right, this house does have the uh, eight foot doors. Prior to come in, you do have the luxury vinyl planks. Nice little archway. Lots of windows, lots of lighting. That's one of the things my client really liked about this house is all the can lighting in here. Well, kind of can. They've got them in new things, not as deep, but they function just like the can lighting does. Lots and lots of space in this main area. My guy's been living in Germany for the last 40 years, so of course they've got a lot of uh, big German furniture, so wall space is key. So we've got big wall space so they put their shrunk there. Some more wall space on this side. And uh, it'd be kind of difficult to put big furniture there because it'd be blocking the walkway. Anyways, really nice island kitchen. Everything's modern with the whites and the uh, gray tones but they've got i like the fact they got the under mount lighting in here that's usually a nice little upgrade but just flip a switch and you got the under mount lighting beautiful quartz countertops this is a gas community so we got the ge gas appliances and uh more ge micro yeah dishwasher big single basin stainless steel sink with the industrial faucet. Your pantry is gonna be kind of your typical corner pantry. So there you go. I wanna show off the backyard real quick. Then you do have a breakfast nook area. So this is gonna have plenty of space for your dining room table. Uh, you do of course have the option if you wanna use this extra space over on this side as a dining room table, but it's definitely not necessary. Now, you notice there's no ceiling fans in here, but all the center lights are blocked for put, bringing your own ceiling fans. It's uh, pretty easy to go down to Lowe's and uh, get a ceiling fan and uh, install them yourself or have someone else install them. Same thing goes with the back porch. They've got extra can lighting, so they've got five lights but you can put your own uh, ceiling fan up there with a the light on it as well. A really pretty good sized patio. Uh, like I said, this is new construction. Eventually, there will be a house built right behind you. Uh, I told my clients, let's just hope it's a one-story house instead of a two-story, but there's no way to know that right now. You do have uh, the AC kind of in the back instead of on the side. I always prefer to be on the side. But a pretty decent sized yard for a new construction home. But real easy. There's some spots I definitely like to get checked out by a roofer. Uh, but you are authorized to bring your own home inspector in here to kind of look and double check things. With this being new construction, you just kind of hand that list off to the builder and they'll get it fixed. But you could easily extend this patio if you chose to later on down the road. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good sized patio. It's not your typical 10 by 10. And this house does have water sprinklers in it. 
And you can say hi to your neighbors right there if, if they're coming out at all. But a pretty decent backyard. I already see some spots where it can be touched up paint-wise. But we uh, we can be able to be do the blue, what they call a blue tape walkthrough to make sure all the paint's good to go. Because yeah, this is a brand new house. You expect it to be brand new. All right, let's go look at these secondary bedrooms. We do have two bedrooms on this front part of the house. That will be sharing this uh, common full bath with a tub and the nice little gray toned cabinets. This front bedroom. This house is, like I said, just only 2,000 square feet. So you don't have an option, well, you don't have an office space. So if you only need one of these bedrooms, yeah, you can always use one of these as an office if needed. Here's your closet. Do they have two separate doors? They sure do. Interesting. So you got two doors going into the same closet. So a little different. I haven't quite seen that before, but it works. Uh, I do like the fact that they are eight foot doors throughout the house. And it gets pretty tall ceilings. So when you have tall ceilings like this, Eight foot doors really are a must because the house just looks weird without it. All right, coming into the uh, pantry, not pantry, I was just thinking that. Uh, laundry room, you got the luxury vinyl plank all the way through the laundry room. Plenty of space for your washer and dryer, and then, well, anything else you might want to put in here because the washer and dryer is not going to take up the whole space. Uh, that's just a little linen closet. Your other bedroom. And uh, another closet, pretty decent sized closet right there. Nice light in it. This is gonna be your garage. Nothing special about it, two car garage. Uh, not crazy deep, but uh, it should be able to use, house the vehicles just fine. It is plumb for water softener. And brand new house, so you got a brand new water heater with the expansion tank. And this is a gas water heater, so you can see that's why you got this uh, yellow here signifying that it's going to be gas and the pipe going out. So that's going to help keep your electric bills down a little bit because, yeah, it's a little cheaper to do that. All right, now let's head into the owner's suite. And showcase that a little bit. Oh, this little center kitchen light, it took me a while to find it to turn it on. That is located down here with the garbage disposal. So yeah, that's where that's at. So if later on you're having fits like I was trying to find it, that's where it's at. All right, master bedroom. You do have the tray ceiling with five different lights. Typically, you would have one light in the middle with a fan, but uh, if you're building this house from dirt, you would be, go down and you do a low voltage meeting and get extra can lights in there. They've already got them, so that's kind of nice to have. Just put your ceiling fan in and you're good to go. A little knockout for a little extra space, different windows here, and I want to show off these blinds a little bit because they're kind of cool. Uh, you can raise them up without the strings love that in these modern blinds and yes you can open these windows up a little bit and then pull the little tabs and bring the window in to clean it behind the screens without getting there but yeah there's your conditioner right there so hopefully that doesn't make too much noise uh because it's a new house it could be pretty well insulated but uh yep that's where your conditioner's at all right, love this bathroom. Beautiful bathroom. Nice, big, uh, bright tiles. Still can, carrying on the gray and white theme. Two vanities. Love the fact that we got the single sink. Very clean, modern look. Plenty of light up above. Um, if you wanted to get sconces put in on the side, you can get an electrician to come do that if this wall just looks too blank. I have seen several builders do this. 
they got one light it's like it feels like they're missing something it's not that big of a deal uh they could tie it straight into that light wiring wise little linen closet but yeah check out the shower this is a really big mud inset shower and i love the fact that it's got the rain shower attachment there too so along with the wand it's a really nice size shower and the controls were over here so you can make sure the water's hot before you step over moving on to the closet pretty it's a decent sized closet uh just gonna be my uh, my client the husband and wife team in there so but oh i just saw it does carry on back here a little bit further so yeah decent sized closet here's the hub of the house um it's already got pre ethernet wires and stuff all kind of culminating right here so this is where you'd have like your modem and stuff coming in and uh, hook everything up so you can have everything tie in real neatly right here a nice little shoe rack and your water closet behind the door which was one of the must-haves for my client All right, one last looky look around. Lots of space in this main living area. All right, that's gonna wrap a tour of this spec home that my clients are in the process of getting under contract right now. So of course I want to do a video tour for them so they can show this house off to their friends and family. Speaking of which, if you are looking for a real estate agent in the uh, greater San Antonio area to include Shirt, Cibolo, New Braunfels, Bernie, uh, Bolverde, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. Uh, you can tell I love to do these videos. And it's kind of important for when you do get something under contract to be able to show your friends and family what the house is that you just got done it's kind of exciting it's nice to show off anyways if you like this video hit that like button subscribe to my channel and like i said before share these videos with your friends and family all right take care now bye